So guys, today I want to talk about the Missile Link 2016, my view on it, and if Phil uh, Heath likely will win the Olympia again, six consecutive time, or if Phil Heath will likely not win the Olympia again. That's my view, I hope you respect it, I hope you like it. Listen to me. This is Phil Heath, he won the Miss Olympia um, the last five years, so he's a Miss Olympia for five consecutive times. He is the top bodybuilder these days. He's the top bodybuilder these days. And his biggest competitor is Kai Green. This guy, okay, body-wise. He had, you know, some, uh, let's say, fights, bodybuilding fights. You know, of course, sportly seen, he had some rivalry going on against this guy. But this guy, last year, didn't even compete because he didn't sign the contract. Of course, we don't know why, but he didn't sign the contract for a fact. And this year's time you know, for signing the contract is already over and Phil Heath, uh, Kai Green didn't sign the contract. Of course, we don't know if he has, you know, some arrangement with the IFBB or he will, you know, step into that mix the last few weeks. But more than likely, Kai Green will not compete this year at the Miss Olympia. So forget his biggest competitor. So, so biggest rival, biggest, you know, what I mean, runner up. And I will, you know, I will talk about the whole top six and hold, you know, there are even more than, you know, five other guys that, you know, could be Olympia or could not be Olympia. So I'll mention them all. Um, the next one is Cedric McMillan. Cedric McMillan really looks great. He really looks ecstatic. But you know when you check his picks out, and not a pick like this who, you know, looks it's which really looks great. But when you check, you know, his contest shape and contest videos and everything out, you'll see that you know um, Cedric has the the classic line, the aesthetics. But I never saw him shredded, really shredded, hard, dry hard water out, you know, ripped, like, for example, the crazy Dorian Yates, or like Kai Green, he's always a little soft, always has, you know, a water film or so on, and that's why, you know, he didn't, uh, for example, uh, won the Arnold Classic this year, he never brings his top shape, he never does, I hope he will, but I don't think that he will get Olymp Mr. Olympia either this year. Then, the next one, Sean Roden. You know, Sean Roden looks really aesthetic. He really looks aesthetic. He really looks good. And he is a big rival of Phil Heath. Body-wise. And the thing is, we don't really know if Sean will make it. But Sean, I don't think that he will get Olympia this year. Just doesn't have that mass overall to be Miss Olympia. Next one. So three comparisons are already out. Not for sure, but probably. These are all Kevin pictures, but I will talk about it later. So Dennis Wolf is the next one. Dennis Wolf looks really great. He is tall. He looks. He has classic body and uh, good shape, good form. He doesn't always have a water film or so because he makes it. But the thing is with Dennis, why he probably never will the Olympia will win it. But I don't know. I would like that he win it because I like it. But first. They say he is uh, injured, so we don't know what's really going on. If it's a big major injury or injury or a little injury, we don't know it. 
but he is or was uh, for a fact injured. Second, his calves. He doesn't have any calves. This picture, his calves um, don't even look that bad, but they are fucking bad. Let's just look at Kai, uh, Phil Heath, for example. And Phil doesn't have the best calves, but when you know Dennis Walsh, you know that he doesn't have any calves. This is Phil Heath, of course. This is Cedric McMillan again. He needs to be harder. This is Big Rami, the next guy. Big Rami is really fucking big. But you know, he never, you know, bring that uh, brought the top conditioning he has to have to win the Olympia. But when he will bring it, he could possibly be Miss Olympia. Just look at the fucking mass. Look at the legs. Look at the arms. Look at everything. Crazy. So I'd already talk about um Sean Roden, Big Rami, Dennis Wolf, Kai Green. Yes. And next Dexter Jackson. Dexter Jackson just recently, I think one week ago, he won the New York Pro 2016 against Rulie Winkler. Rulie Winkler looks great too, but I say you, this uh, Rulie Winkler will not win the Olympia. He, it would be great for him to get in the top six, even you know, but he will not win it. He just needs more, you know, experience. He needs to be a lot of harder, a lot harder. But he looks great, Brody Winkler. Dexter. That was the guys. Yeah, that was it. That were the active. And like we all know, Kevin made a comeback. When you look at Kevin, you see that he has some weaknesses when you look at his back. His back is not that good, his legs are not that good. Okay, his legs are not that good. The thing is, even if he would be at his top shape and it is his prime body, he would have some problems against Phil Heath, who has good uh, legs and has a good back. But overall, they look, of course, they look very similar, but like I said, he has to bring up his legs, and that's no hate, because I like, really like Kevin, and his back, look at this picture, he looks so crazy on this, I mean his legs looks better, but I think they, they need a little bit, and his back needs a little bit, so in this picture you see it's probably, so he needs like, more, you know, focus of his legs, his arms are crazy, we know that his styles are crazy, his straps crazy. You know, this are, you know, the, the push uh, uh, muscle groups are crazy, we, of course we know that. You have to respect it. So, the thing is, in general, what I wanted to say, and don't forget Ruli. I said, you know, Ruli will not make it, but Ruli looks really great, we never know. I will, I will search up for some pictures. Maybe I will find something. Maybe I will find something. Yes, I found something. The thing is with Rudy, like I said, he has fucking mass, but he has to bring up his legs too, and he has to be better conditions. When he will make that point, he will make it. Oh no, picture of Ruli. I don't like the you know the, the 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 Google thing now. So look at him, how massive. But he has to bring his uh, top shape because he has to be more ripped to win the Olympia. Forgive me if I'm a little bit tired, but it's very late here, and it is how it is. So, that picture, he looks great, but he needs that, that, you know, the, that last steps for a cut, 
He needs to cut up more, pose a little better, bring up his legs. His upper body is crazy, of course. Look at his arms. So there are a lot of guys that look very great. That could be very dangerous for Philheath. And the troll for Philheath, my, my sum up is the troll for Philheath is not, you know, safe. But if Phil Heath brings, you know, the, the thing, what I wanted to say is, if Phil Heath brings his conditioning and the other guy athletes stay like, you know, bring that same body they had at, at their last contest, Phil Heath will probably win the Olympia, okay? But if an athlete that is already dangerous for Phil Heath make a crazy uh, change in positive uh, way, in a positive way, um, he could be Miss Olympia, okay, and on top of that, um, the guy who, who ha you know, who could beat Phil has to be a lot of better than Phil, if, you know, not only a little bit, because when you want to, you know, kick the Olymp Miss Olympia's ass and be the new Miss Olympia, you have to be really better than the current Mr. Olympia. We all know that there is some politics in this game. We all know it. So stay tuned guys, I will make my videos. Subscribe, like and check my brother Edis Arts on Instagram and on Facebook. Crazy drawing of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Crazy drawing of other people too. Just check his page, support him, like him. Peace out.